Hey y'all, what's up? It's Lauren and welcome back to my channel. So this week has been a really good week in North Carolina. It's been very sunny and not very rainy, which is what we like. But I would actually really like for it to be fall weather. I'm ready for fall. I'm I'm not a summer kind of girl. Yeah. Um so yeah, we haven't been in mortal danger or anything, and that's good. We're all good here in North Carolina now. Um, but yeah, so today I would like to talk to y'all about a book review on City of Glass by Cassandra Clare. Um, because y'all know I am in the middle of reading this series. I'm actually in the middle of reading two or three different series, but this one is the one that's taking up the forefront of my mind right now, and I'd like to go ahead and get started, so yeah. I don't know what to say about this one. Um, I was I was on Goodreads when I was about 95% done and I was looking through the reviews and I, a lot of people were like, oh, this one's my favorite, this one's my favorite. And I can tell why. It was definitely my favorite too. City of Bones and City of Ashes are slow to get into. They're very slow to start, slow to get into. Um, very... And I don't want to say boring, but like I wasn't captivated the whole time. I didn't want to sit there and be like, I gotta find out, I gotta find out. It was only at the end of those books that she would be like, now let's grab the audience and let's take them on a ride. That's when I was like, okay, that's what I want, that's, you know, this is what I want to read. So it was really her endings that kept me want, wanting to pick up the books. But this one was totally different. It had me like entranced from page one. I was shocked, not shocked. I was like, I gotta keep finding out. They're now going into Alicant or um, Idris and she's going to go save, going to go find this guy named um, Ragnar Fell to help save her mother, get her mother out of a coma and Jace forbids her to go, but of course, you know, her being Clary, she goes anyway. So the whole story is about, you know, them, our crew navigating their way around Idris. And, um, and if I'm saying that wrong, please like, don't come at me. Just educate me. Thank you. Um, but yeah. And then it has, you know, Clary and Luke navigating their way. And then we finally see them all come together and things start going crazy from there. I was so excited about how this ended. I am a huge Clary and Jace shipper. I always will be. Um, and I think that that is an obvious thing in this. Um, I love them. And I knew that... I'm going to try and make this as spoiler free as possible. So, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, I just, I just love them in this one. And that's all I'm going to say is I love them in this one. This one is so great. Um, their relationship is, is very different in this one. And I love that as well. And I appreciate it. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know. What do I say? This is like, okay, so we all have our favorite Harry Potter book, right? Let me explain. Those of you Harry Potter nerds. I've learned that in the booktube community, you are either, and let me go back and, and preface this with something else, so just hold on. Don't come at me yet. I've learned in the booktube community that you're either a fan of the Mortal Instruments and the whole, um, I guess, Shadowhunters world, or you're a fan of Harry Potter an uber fan. Now don't get me wrong, I do know booktubers who are huge fans of both, but one, their hearts lean more towards, you know, another, um, one or the other. Mine is Harry Potter. I am a huge Harry Potter fan. I have always been a huge Harry Potter fan. Um, and those of us Harry Potter fans, uber, uber, and I'm not saying you're not uber either. I'm just saying, um, yeah. There are groups that tend to like this a little bit more than Harry, but they still have Harry and they still love Harry. I'm not discounting that at all. Um, but I am, I'm, you know, I, if I were to choose between this series and Harry Potter, I'd be like, gotta take my man Harry with me because I love me some Harry. Anyways, so 
I have my favorite Harry Potter book and all Harry Potter fans have to have their favorite Harry Potter book. I just know it. It is like an unspoken rule in the fandom. Um, mine is Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. I love book th uh, four. Book three in the City uh, in the Mortal Instrument series is my favorite so far. I have not read, um, I think it's City of Fallen Angels and yeah. This one's my favorite so far. I absolutely love it. Um, Simon's great in this. The whole crew is great. I loved the fact that um, you can kind of tell how different her writing has gotten. But it's gotten better instead of worse. And if her other book is like this, like if the next book in the series, which I think is City of, of Fallen Angels, I'm pretty sure that's what it is, um, then I'm going to keep reading because I was like totally enthralled in this I wanted to find out more I am glad that she adds more not I don't we we don't get like points of views from certain characters but I do appreciate the fact that we get more like insight into maybe what Alec is thinking or what Isabel is thinking or what Jace is thinking or what Simon's thinking and I just love all of that I think that adds a lot more to the characters. I like Alec a little bit more now, I have to admit that. I really was not a huge fan of Alec starting off, um, because I just think he kind of had like a, a bratty attitude. Isabel, I loved Isabel from the start, I love her attitude, she's just like zero craps given, um, and I, I love her, but you know, on underneath that exterior she has this like soft sensitive side that she's, you know, she wants to show people, and she does love people, but she kind of puts this front up and I, I appreciate that from her um and I think Clary's getting a little bit older she's getting a little bit more mature she's kind of coming into her own and I like that as well um especially after the everything that happens and um you know she's becoming a, a badass she's becoming her own woman in this like hello um I my, I have so many favorite parts in this. Oh, gosh. I can't think of this. Um, gosh. My favorite parts. I have, I mean, all the Clary and Jace parts are my favorite. Because I'm, I'm a Clary and Jace fan. Um, also, I put a poll up on Twitter. I don't know if y'all saw, but I, totally off topic. Um, well, not off topic. It's in the realm of the mortal instruments, but I get off topic. Okay? Don't sue me. Anyways. I put a poll up on Twitter asking, um, who would y'all rather Simon be with, Maya or Isabel? I will tell y'all my preference now. I want him to be with Isabel. I think he and Isabel are, would be so good together. But I also like him and Maya together as well. So I don't know how I feel about that. But right now I'm leaning a little towards, more towards, um, Isabel. Um, and I'm really actually liking the Magnus and Alec relationship I think they're so cute together and you get to see their relationship kind of develop in this as well Alec is becomes more brave he becomes more fearless in this when it comes to Magnus and his relationship as well and um and you get to see a lot of Jace you know you, you get to see a lot of a lot more of Jace and Clary whereas in the other two books yeah they were prevalent in there but you saw Clary kind of separated she would do things with a lot more things with Simon and then sometimes she'd do things with others but you wouldn't get her and Jace together a lot but in this one she and Jace get together a lot and it builds their relationship and a lot of things that have been spoken about in like the first two or three books the first two books come together in this one and it you know some people say it's almost like an ending and I guess you can kind of say it was I kind of felt like it was but um, I loved it. I loved this whole entire thing. It was, oh, excuse me, it was huge. And, yeah, it was a huge book, but I read it in, like, two or three days because I was really, really just into this. Um, so, so into it. Oh, my gosh, yes. Totally shipping it hard. I'm done. <laughs> I love this. Um, and I can't, you know, I'm going to read you out the back of it. I just, I love this one. This one is my favorite so far. I can't wait to get the rest of them. I actually five, six, seven, I mean five, no, I'm on four, five, six. I have like two more I have to get and then I want to try and get the Clockwork, uh, the Infernal Devices series, which we will be talking about coming up in this video as well, so stay tuned. But I'm going to read you out the back of this. It says, to save her mother's life, Clary travels to the City of Glass 
the ancestral home of the shadow hunters never mind by doing so she is breaking the law which could mean death even worse jace does not want her there and simon has been thrown in prison by shadow hunters who are deeply suspicious of a vampire who can withstand sunlight Luckily, Clary finds an ally in the mysterious Sebastian who holds a strange attraction for her. As Valentine musters a demon army, can downworlders, shadow hunters, can downworlders and shadow hunters put aside their ancient hatred and work together? Can Clary harness her newfound powers to help save them all, whatever the cost? And like, we do get some new characters. I do not like Aileen, A L I N E. I don't know if it's Aline or Aileen, but I call her Aileen. Um, and we get to meet Sebastian. And Sebastian is quite a different character. And if you haven't read the books, I'm not going to spoil it for you. But you need to go read this one because it's very, very interesting. It's very interesting how things work out. Um, so we see the disappearance of of one antagonist and we might see the reappearance of a new antagonist or maybe multiple antagonists but um yeah it was really good my favorite of all of them would have to be this one um and i know i've already said that is there anything else i'd like to talk about um i here's my predictions for what i want to see i want to see it, like upcoming so if there are anything you know if there's anything that I mentioned that's right please don't tell me in the comments because I don't want to know I like I don't like spoilers and I try not to spoil it for y'all as well so um but yeah I want to see Isabel and Simon get together and I want to see things develop between Jace and Clary together I can't say more than that uh, whether as friends or more y'all will uh those of y'all who have read this book will know where they stand in this where they stand at the end of this i want to see things happen with clary you know i want her to kind of come into her own embrace this new lifestyle that she's kind of come into and um you know i'd like for them to be left alone but in this world in this universe i've learned that there's one thing Nobody's ever gonna leave Clary and Jace and the rest of our shadow hunter friends alone. So yeah That's it. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed As tradition, I will mention what I'm reading next. I'm actually reading two books right now Since I'm reading one on my phone and I can't show y'all I'm reading a clockwork um, angel by Cassandra Clare I went and looked up how to read the shadow hunter chronicles and i went to emma i think it's emma books i went to her page which i'll link down below if y'all want to go and watch the video it was really good and it's very helpful and insightful um i went to go look and see you know how i should read it um and i've decided to read it in publication order so the next one after city of glass is clockwork angel and if you don't know those take place in the 18th century in or no 1800s england um which is my favorite time period by the way i love it um so i'm really excited about that we get like shadow hunters in victorian times like i couldn't be more happier um so yeah i'm, I'm only on chapter four i'm reading it on my phone so i don't have it like in front of me because obviously I film with my phone but that's okay um excuse me I'm already enjoying it so far um I I don't know how I, I feel about it yet like I said I am enjoying it um so yeah and then after that of course I'm gonna read City of Fallen Angels and then I'm gonna read Clockwork Prince I think and then so I'm gonna read it in publication order um because I've heard that the the storylines kind of intersect like Marvel, but we're not going to get into Marvel either. But um, I've heard, like I said, I have heard that they'd intersect. So that's why I'm reading it the way it was. I was just going to go ahead and skip to um, City of Fallen Angels. But I decided not to do that. And I decided to read Clockwork Prince. I mean Clockwork Angel. So if you follow me on Goodreads, you'll be able to keep up with my progress there. Also, at the same time, I'm reading A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Cavallaro. It is a retelling of Sherlock Holmes. 
Um, and it's a gender bent Sherlock Holmes too. So instead of it being a Sherlock Holmes, it's Charlotte Holmes. It's the ancestors of Watson and Sherlock and they're on a new adventure to see, you know, to, they're, they're on new crime adventures, um, in this. And it follows James Watson and Charlotte, um, Holmes. I'm loving it so far. I'm only on like chapter five. But it's pretty good. I've heard that it got it, it's gotten pretty good reviews in amongst the booktube community, and I do like mystery thrillers, and I like why mystery thrillers. So we'll have to come back whenever I finish and talk about what I felt about this. But so far, like I said, I think it's going pretty well. I'm gonna read the back to y'all. It says the last thing Jamie wants and want. Watson wants is a rugby scholarship to Sheringford, Connecticut prep school. Just an hour away from his estranged father, but that's not the only complication. Sheringford is also home to Charlotte Holmes, the famous detective, great, the famous detective's great, great, great granddaughter, who has inherited not only Sherlock's genius, but also his volatile temperament. From the moment they meet, there's a tense energy between them, and they seem more destined to be rivals than anything else. But when a Sheringford student dies under suspicious circumstances, ripped straight from the most terrifying Sherlock Holmes stories, Jamie can no longer afford to keep his distance. Jamie and Charlotte are being framed for murder. Equal parts tender, thrilling, and hilarious. A Study in Charlotte is the first in a trilogy brimming with wit on the edge of your seat. Suspense. So that is that. Um, follow me on Twitter, Goodreads, Instagram, all at Lives Loves Book 17. I'll also have them down below in the description box. Also, if you want to get in uh, contact with me, my email is uh, Live Loves Books 94 at gmail.com. Um, hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the notification bell so you are notified as to when I post new videos. Until then, I will see y'all later. Bye.